What is up everybody, in today's hookah tutorial I'm going to be pretty much teaching you guys how to uh, just in make your Chinese hookah a little bit more cooler, a little bit better. Um, so, here is the Chinese hookah. Alright, I have a video of me smoking out of this thing. It is a beast. Um, as you see, this is the base. It does screw on. Alright, but what I did was... See if I can take this. You put a small little base grommet, and then you put your uh, large kind of a caravan or KM grommet on here. It just fits over like that, and then you get your KM base or whatever large Egyptian kind of base you have. I put a whole bunch of ice in mine to increase my hookah session. All right, we're gonna screw the bottom of the downstem on because this is a Chinese hookah. And they are known for that. Alright, that's good. And we're just going to simply put this, put this on. I find spinning it down like this works a lot better. And as you can see, we now have a uh, half Chinese, half KM hookah. Yes. But mainly a Chinese hookah regardless. Um, and an inch under the bottom of the downstem. All right. Then you get your fucking. Uh, you can use the Chinese hose that comes with it. Um, this one isn't as bad as some that I have used out of um, or smoked out of. But honestly, you want to go for a washable hose or something that has a wider gauge. I'm using the D hose. It does not matter what in the hose port adapter goes in. It does not matter for the glass tip adapter, whatever side you want to flip it. This side says dream. You can have the glass tip say dream right here. It does not fucking matter. Let's get the bottle. Put this on. And the grommet is already in. Push a little bit, alright. I don't want this hookah to fucking break on me. And then outfit it with funnel or just a large Egyptian clay bowl. I used a large Egyptian in my um, video of me smoking this. I'm gonna do this on the ground. So here it is. Alright. This thing is tiny, man. Fucking tiny. It's ridiculous. And just spin like you're tightening a bolt because the top of these Chinese hookahs do spin off and they loosen lefty loosey righty tighty. So when you put your bowl on, gently spin to the right. Alright, it'll suck through it a couple times. Get that cold air going through the hose. Almost there. All right, there we go. Got our cold hits going. Hopefully that doesn't fall. And get the coals and put on here. Yeah, this looks cool. I'll be right back. Three stack of coals, baby. <laughs> On to the bowl successfully. Damn. Now, 
I uh, put these coals on for the on the hot plate for not that long, <laughs> so they have a little black on the tops, but it's perfectly fine. Then you outfit the top of it with your wind cover to get this thing started because um, I find when I don't put my wind cover on, I can't get my Chinese hookah to make big clouds. Only gimmick, I would say. The only gimmick with it. And you can pick this thing up from the stem and move it like a traditional hook. It's not going to fall out of the base. So you don't have to be too cautious with it. But that's pretty much how you um, just make your Chinese hookah a little bit better. Um, funnel bowl is going to increase the airflow um, on an already small, small gauged uh, down stem. Your hose is going to uh, match the airflow of the, uh, the bowl, so you're getting pretty decent airflow out of a really, really small gauge freaking hookah. And the KM base, it just adds the ice effect, the chilliness, although with a smaller hookah like this, with a smaller gauge as well, on the bottom of the down stem, you're just not going to get the best airflow, the draw of the icy hit, so that's pretty much it. Keep on smoking hookah. Have a wonderful day.